So I'm here in front of the Vietnam War Memorial with Vietnam veterans, Vietnam War veterans, and today's 50, day, 50 years to the day that they lost some of their comrades. And uh, I just want to talk to them to see the experiences that they had in Vietnam. Why don't you tell me about your comrades that died? Well, Frank and I were in the same squad. We were all with Fox 27 First Marine Division. And uh, I wasn't there this day. I was in the hospital. I'd been wounded nine days sooner. But these four here on top were our squad members. They were taken like that with the machine gun. And the rest of them, some of them died the next day from their wounds. But like I said, I wasn't there. You'd have to ask Frank or one of the other guys what really went on in the valley that day. But it was 50 years ago today. And that's why we're here today, so. Have you been to this memorial before? No. This is the first time? First time for me. Wow. I've been to the Little Walls, but the first time to the Big one. And what, what kind of memories does it bring back for you? Memories I don't like. Yeah. Don't want to really talk about those, but right. seeing these guys make me happy. I haven't seen these guys for 50 years. 50 years, wow. Some of them, I've seen a couple, but it's been 50 years, and we thought this would be a great time to come back on it today. Okay. And then how old were you when you were sent to Vietnam? I was 19. 19. Probably one of the old guys. I mean, I can't, I can't fathom being 19 and being sent out to war. What was, I mean, what was that like? Well, you, we've done been through the boot camp training, so we know what we have to do. But you're never ready for what's going to happen to you. Yeah. You know, the first time you kill or you see somebody killed, uh-uh, it's a different story to, yeah. to me it was. But I went because the country asked me to. And that was plain and simple. I'm very patriotic and will be the rest of my life. Well, we owe you a lot of debt, obviously, to everyone. Thank you all for your service, first of all. Um, but, you know, what you went through, uh, because so the rest of us don't have to go through something like that. Um, where, where were you stationed over there? We, were, we started up around Da Nang. We hit about every hill on the way down to uh, Chu Lai. Mm. Uh, we were in Death Valley, Antenna Valley. Death Valley's were just You were in the thick of it. Leech Valley. We were combat Marines, so yeah. we lived out in the jungle quite a bit. So Primarily, most of I Corps, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think it was most south, of I Corps. South the, of Denango, the Marines, all the way up to the D. Not to interrupt, but uh, the Marines sent us into what they call uh, the float phase. We were supposed to be staying on ship. Okay. I think we were there one night. And I woke up 3 o'clock in the morning to make a beach landing. And the guy in the Navy said, how do you want your eggs? <laughs> I, and that was the last time we seen the ship. Okay. So uh, it was an experience, but some experiences end bad. And in our case, it did end bad sometimes. But the good part was I got to serve with these guys. And how long was your tour over there? 13 months. 13, 13 months. Days. I don't know why. Well, Everybody else did 12. That, that, that Nixon, changed, Nixon changed it to 12 that months towards the end. And the thing about our thing in yeah, the valley, oh, really? yeah. I was in the hospital afterwards till September. When I came back, they put me on a landing zone rider, and I got the helicopter. I knew nobody. These are the guys that died. Hmm. The rest of them were wounded and didn't walk out of the valley. I think two or three people actually walked out of the valley on yeah, their own. When, when you get to meet a, another Marine's family, okay. And you leave there just in time because I went out the same night as Robert Ryan, okay? And you get to be home and do the burial service with his mom and his family. That's rough. And these these guys can't say nothing about it. Now, when you went home back to the U.S., there was the anti-war sentiment going on, protests and stuff, right? How did you guys deal with that? I dealt with it easy. I come back on a medevac ship, went right to the hospital, didn't meet the public, so I didn't have to deal with it. I'd have probably been in jail if I would have. Yeah. Well, I landed at Andrews Air Force Base, and it put me on, I had been wounded. And I, I got medevac back because I had uh, malaria so bad. Uh, landed at Andrews, and they put me on a jack bus to go over to Bethesda Naval Hospital. And when we came out the gate, there were protesters screaming and throwing stuff to the bus. And, you know, a welcome home. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's bad enough you guys had a fight and then had to deal with the anti-war movement as well. Um, when I was I, in Vietnam, I walked point, uh, Rolf walked point. Yeah, that's my best friend. Uh, I don't know why, because he taught me to walk point and then he moved back. <laughs> so, uh, but we shared everything over there. Uh, you know, you do with your brothers. 
I knew all of his friends, and he's from Indiana. I knew everything he had gotten into. He knew everything about me, and uh, that's how we passed the hours on the watch. Was uh, just talking to each other, and uh, two of the two of the men who uh, died that day, uh, Ed Ryan and uh, Eddie Krasinski, or Bob Ryan and Eddie Krasinski. Uh, I got out to Bob, he had been wounded through the shoulder, got out to Krasinski, and of course he was KIA already. I came back to drag Ryan back in out of the fire. And, uh, Norton here uh, caught up with me, and we were bringing Ryan back in when he opened up on us again with you know, machine guns and of course Ryan was killed and I was hit and I think he took a ringer to the helmet and wow. you know that was pretty much it for that day. There's a book out by the author Keith Nolan. Yes. He's a correspondent who writes a lot of books about Vietnam and other wars. Some of us are in his book, Summer Offensive, August 1969. Uh, the famous football player Rocky Blyer was shot on the 20th of this month in the same spot. Of course, like I said, I was hit the 16th, everybody else was hit the 25th. And uh, going back and not finding anybody was the hardest thing I had to deal with. Yeah. I knew what had happened. And uh, they walked us into, what, a U-shaped ambush out there? Yeah, yeah. Horseshoe Valley, and we went in and they... Like three NVA division. And the thing that really pisses me to stay is our, our intelligence knew they were sitting waiting for us and they let us go right in there. Didn't, didn't it was just... Give us the end though. Really? Yeah. Well, but I, one more question. Have any of you been back to Vietnam since the war? No? I no interest? Uh, never. I'm not going yeah. back. I mean, there, there are some veterans who actually have gone back, obviously, and had a good experience, but I, I totally understand it. Yeah. We've had guys in our unit yeah. who have gone back. Right. Uh, some of them got closure yeah. of it. And I personally have no desire to go back. Ever, have you ever looked into I, I the effects of Agent Orange? I, I, yeah. Okay. Well, I went to one at Jefferson Surgical Center in Stratford, New Jersey, about three years ago. And they had all these concerns about Agent Orange. Right. Okay. Now, Agent Orange was made by Mar Mar uh, Monsanto. Monsanto. Okay, so they use that on lawns today. Okay. Now, I know I got at least seven friends who die from Agent Orange, and I guarantee you that every one of these guys was sprayed on, okay, because you felt rain coming down. Yeah. Okay, now today, that's all they got to do is admit it and say, uh, it's an Agent Orange. And take care of us 50 but, years ago. But they're doing the same thing in Iraq for burn pits. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, you got lung disease from burn pits. So, yeah. Take care of the people that take care of you. Absolutely. All right? All right. Yeah, that's the problem. It's such a battle with the VA. Yeah. Well, I thank you all for your time. I really appreciate it. I just want to thank shake you. your hands. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your service again. Thank you. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot.